Hello, Admiral Thrawn here. I am giving a quick preview <clears throat> of a battle map that I have recently created using the Total War Warhammer Terry system, which, for those of you who don't know, is a map editor that was recently released for the game Total War Warhammer. This map that I've created is my second one. I'll probably show my first one at some point. It is called Chaos War Camp and I figured I would show it off, and you guys might get a kick out of it. By the way, thank you to all my subscribers who have stuck around through this long drought of content on the channel. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, it is exactly what the name would describe. It is a war camp of the forces of chaos, stationed up in the realms of Norska. So, we have a whole bunch of uh, settlements for the Chaos Marauders, as well as Beastmen, and shrines to the more unholy powers of Chaos. There are great sacrifices that take place here on a daily basis, and in the sky above the camp, numerous great towers on floating islands from the Chaos Wastes themselves have been brought down to assist in the campaign. Now... Outside, uh, guarding the camp are several main gates, uh, and there's a great wall that has been built around it, but all is not as impregnable as it seems. The front two gates are both very well defended, and have great positions up here for archers to take con a commanding view of the field and shoot anyone who, att who attempts to attack. But further beyond here, the wall becomes gradually weaker and weaker. This gate is in poor repair. And finally, on the far end, the wall is not only small, but it is also not yet complete. So there is an opening for attackers to swiftly move up here and breach the fortress. For the uh, outside of the fortress, this is the cold, barren reaches of, reaches of Norska. There is a small village on the outskirts that is inhabitable by four deploying units of either army. They can take control of the area and then hold it against most sorts of attacks. It is less defended than the main battle camp itself, but this village has been here for quite a while. It's uh, called Ragnar's Landing, and it is actually an interesting lore subject, because the Norse are sort of caught between the worship of their older gods like Odin and the others as worshipped at this shrine here, and then of course the gods of Chaos as worshipped here. It is an interesting conundrum that they face, and the decision has most been made for them by the fact that there is a huge army of Chaos soldiers that is encamped next to their village. And finally, there is another village further off here near the woods uh, that you can also enter and defend uh, with this choke point. So I'm going to quickly start this uh, battle off just to give you an idea of how these engagements usually play out. Generally speaking, players will rush for the first two entrances with their main force. You definitely want to leave a fair number of elite troops guarding the front gates, as well as multiple reserves. There is a very easy way to slip around here. So as soon as the front line is broken, then there's multiple routes into the fortress that can be taken. They all have to be covered, or else they'll be able to swoop in and then it just becomes uh, street fighting hand-to-hand. -hand. Meanwhile, usually players will loop their cavalry around and charge up over this hill and take a decisive advantage there. I don't have the ability to really hold the town much with my marauders, so I'm going to send them out after the attacking horde. But, yeah. This is a very uh, defendable area, though, so if you do have advanced deployed units or you are willing to rush and risk out your army, then it is an excellent place to stage an attack. And for that matter, if you were the attacker and you fail in your assault, you can always pull back to the village and defend it against the counterattack. But yeah, the, the main engagement is always going to be here in the main avenue. But the real battle is decided along the outskirts. How many troops can you sneak into the sides? I'm playing against the AI, so they aren't going to be quite that smart about it. They're just going to YOLO their way into the uh, the main entrance, probably. But yeah, I'm, uh, for those of you who have already downloaded the map, uh, it's been released for a couple days now. 
I've actually just released a couple of fixes for it, uh, so you should go check those out on the Steam Workshop. I'm not sure if you automatically update or not, but you definitely want to get them because it improves a lot of the, uh, the way the battle is fought. And yeah, I will say that flying units are a great uh, tool for getting into the uh, getting into the fortress. Uh, they let you cross over the walls and tie down the defenders while your main attack takes place. I'm not going to show you the whole battle, just part of it. My cavalry has been driven off because I was too busy talking. Yeah. I have a lot of good reserves that I've held back here for this. But yeah, so speaking broadly, the uh, the Total War Warhammer map editor, I think, is a terrific thing that Creative Assembly has done. Because I gotta say, my biggest complaint about the initial vanilla game is that their maps were boring as hell. It was always just uh, open, empty plain with a couple of trees or maybe a hill. And then off in the distance, you would see some amazing vista. They'd be like, oh my god, I wish I could fight there. And here, you can create maps where you actually do get to fight there. So this is definitely an uh, amazing thing that they've given us, and it's been a ton of fun to mess around with. I'll be making another video for the first map that I did pretty soon. I think this is the better of the two. And I will also be taking votes as to what I should do next uh, for map editing. My current intentions are to create a map of Musion, the great... Uh, City of the Vampire Counts, uh, off in the, like, the marshes of Musion province of Bretonia. And I was thinking that you can't do a siege battle yet, but what you can do is have a battle where there's a wall that you can't to get around, kind of like we have here, but there can't be gates, which is okay. I think the City of Musion has been so thoroughly destroyed through countless wars and slaughters, that there really isn't going to be much of a gate there anyways. And so, I think that's what I'm going to do next. So I'll be posting that and presumably a preview video once it's complete. And yeah, uh, another news for any of you, anyone who's wondering, the game, Dark, like the, the mod Dark Millennium, I more or less stopped working on that myself after I ran into a whole bunch of problems with getting models to work and... Just basically, yeah, a lot of really annoying things. But uh, some other glorious souls have taken up the task in my absence. So one of the other creators of Beginning of the End Times, Whiff of Grapeshot, or Queen of Gore, as you may know him on some of the other <coughs> uh, mod forums, he is currently working on make, putting together a basic multiplayer uh, version of it. So, if you ever want to call him out and uh, give him kudos for what he's doing, definitely do so. I've given him all the files that I was able to put together. And so, yeah, definitely uh, check out what he's doing and give him kudos. But yeah, so that's the map. Uh, or the, I think you've got a good view of it right now. I'll just give you a upper tactical scroll of it. But yeah, stay tuned for more maps of what I'm doing. And good luck in your future warhammering endeavors. Admiral Thrawn, signing off.